Hello, this is Clint Locklear from Wolfer Nation, and I want to welcome you to the Learning Educational University of Predator Control Group. And today we're going to talk about math and value, and hopefully you will see why this is important to you in a couple of ways. So if you're in business, trapping business, any other business, pay attention to the value aspect of what we're doing for our customers right here, because if you mimic that, just don't copy me, but mimic it in somewhere else, then all of a sudden you'll have customers that will want your product because you're giving them more value. Now what I want to talk about is the value of Coon Collector. The value of this to a trapper is about 300 bucks. And I'm going to prove it to you. Because if you get this, which costs 29, and you go to Tractor Supply, and you get this for 13, you might as well just go and write yourself a check for $329. And I'm going to prove to you that's not an exaggeration. So in the last uh, probably decade, the dog proof traps, you know, the ones I use are the FB1s, the FB2s. They became the kind of the mainstay inside the trapping industry. So that's your history lesson for today. Then people were trying to figure out, well, how do we get raccoons to work the traps and get caught better? So this led us all in these different directions and how do we bait and lure, use trailing scents and everything like that for a dog proof trap. And what we've ended up with is some pretty interesting things on the market today. What you see most of the time inside of dog proof baits looks just like that. That's because that is what this is. But when you buy this guys, it's 98% of this which is very cheap filler. Remember, that's 40 pounds for $13. I went down and bought some at Tractor Supply just to show you what it costs and what it is. So this is what you're buying. There's not a lot here as far as a raccoon. So someone's gonna put a mixture of some kind, some types of witch doctor juice they're gonna put on here. That's about 2%. But when you go to buy this, say at $6 a piece, you're paying for 2% and 98% of this. Now the way that being at Predator Control Group, I'm always trying to figure out ways to add value. Now I could go and buy a whole pallet of these fish pellets and I could put it in these little jars and I could sell it just like everybody else is doing. But I would rather have a way that you the trapper can save some money. So I did this to show you how geeky I am in the, in the Predator Control Group University. I took one of these pint jars and I counted how many pint jars are in a 40 pound bag of fish pellets. Now, now show these, these jars right here, Travis. This is half, because I'm too lazy to bring them out of the house just to take them back in there. This is half of what it is. So when you go to spend what is in that bag, you're gonna buy 94 pint jars with that in there that's 2% liquid. 94. So now we're going to get to the math part of the university. This is my Glenn Beck whiteboard. 94 times $6 a piece. That's $564 if you buy it in pints. $564 if you buy it in pints. If you buy it in quarts, because that's been kind of the latest thing, because this stuff is really cheap. so. Might as well try to get a few extra dollars out of it. If you put it in quarts, you get 23.5. So you can either say 24 or 22, however you want to do it. But 23.5 is the accurate math. Say at $14 a piece, that's $329 to get the 2% added into the filler. Does everybody follow me there? Does that make sense, Travis? Yeah. What I'm trying to say. Okay. Cat collector, $29. Coon collector. Coon collector, sorry. Speaking of that, <laughs> coon collector, everybody knows where cat collector comes from. Now there's been some people that want to copy the name of cat collector and they have and they put it on the market and it's just a sad deal all the way around because it's not real cat collector. But when you see collector on something, you, you can almost be assured that's from me and that's going to be from a product that kicks butt just like this does. Now this actually used to be Coon Whisper. I've got a friend that sells this. And 
I basically, you know, was like, dude, I'm getting ready to come out with this. I explained to him what it was. Here's a year or two to figure out what you're going to do. It's been two years, so now I'm coming out. This was Ca uh, Coon Whisper, if you've heard me talk about this, on Trapping Radio. The only difference now is this is a smoked anise fish odor concentrate. $29, $13 equals... 42 since it's it's writing it's got to be it's got to be correct so coon collector when you buy these two together you can only buy this from me but any tractor supply has this you've got 42 dollars in it 42 dollars how do we use this well let's say i'm going to take my my dog proof and i'm going to get my really cheap filler this is the way some people have used it with very good success Now, because you're doing that over your trap line, congratulations, you just made $564 by buying that and squirting that in there, which is pretty much when you buy this like this from somebody else. Amazing results from doing that. And the other way that you can do this is you can take a gallon of your fish pellets, in all seriousness, put it in a five gallon bucket or so, about 30 sprays as you kind of jiggle it around like you're your own electric cement mixer and then you can just go out and drop them straight into the traps which is what i started off doing but i've had friends that's been just spraying it on there now lo and behold some things has happened with this since i put it out because i had some really good friends that went out and tested it and there's a couple of, of things that happened one they're mixing this into the fish pellets Now when they need a refreshener at their couch set, they just take this and throw that down in the hole with this mixture. And they're slaying coyotes and fox with it. So think about the volume. If you were to buy 40 pounds of bait for $42. The other thing, when you use this coon collector, even though it says coon collector, if you were to pre-make this because it is so cheap, and you have a road that's out in front of your set. Let's say that this is our beautiful dirt hole set. This is our mock demo area. And here between us and the duck is a road, but the coyotes seem to be coming up and down the road and not really paying attention to what's going on. When you mix this into this, you can literally do that. And what happens when you do this right here with a pin collector is when a coyote comes down this trail, there's nothing unnatural about this whatsoever. And he will start picking up those little pellets. Now where you lead him to is right to your set. So it's, it's almost kind of like a trailing scent. It can be a, a set refreshener for dry land animals, or it can be probably one of the most deadliest combinations that you've ever tried on a dog proof trap. I'm using them in my FB1s, my FB2s, because they work really well. So let me go ahead and do the recap because that's what all professors do. You can let somebody else buy this for you for $13. Put it in these little bitty jars, mix up some stuff like this and put down in there and you can spend $6 on this. And if you're gonna get the volume of this bag, that's $564. If we do two of these and make a quart, it's gonna cost you $329 to go this route. If you buy the Coon Collector, concentrate, and your own bag of fish pellets for $13, for $42, you're in business. And when everybody else is out there wondering why they're not making money with Coon, because we're in low prices right now, and they're spending an extra $500 that they shouldn't have, that's $500 you don't have to catch because you didn't have the expenditure. So keep this stuff in mind when you're out there. That's the value, that's the reason we brought this in. I could have, like I said, went and bought a pallet of fish pellets, put it in these jars, sold it to you, made a ton more money, 500 and something dollars versus 29. I don't really want to deal with fish pellets because that's not the quality of stuff I'm used to dealing with. But if you want to use them as a filler, put this on there and you're going to be a coon catching son of a gun. Choice is up to you. Waste money, go catch coons and save money. Have fun this season.